Gemini, welcome to your weekly tarot and oracle card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is from September, no, 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 for you guys it will be October 1st through about October 8th or 9th, given around those all those dates. You would definitely hear this message when you are meant to hear it. We're going to start with an oracle card reading on YouTube, and then we go over for the um, tarot card, deep read tarot card reading, and um, romance reading over on Vimeo. That link is below. Please do click subscribe to help this channel grow, and so that you know when the content goes up or when I go live, please ring that bell. Then you'll get all those notifications. If you are on a platform that requires you to watch commercials, there will be a commercial in about five seconds. Let me thank you ahead of time for your patience as you sit through, or maybe not even sit through, maybe run and get yourself a snack or use it for a potty break time. I don't know. But there will be a commercial for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'll come back. I will see you soon. Now, for those of you who are just returning, thank you so much for your patience. Whether you realize it or not, that actually does contribute to the channel's growth, is just allowing that one little commercial to run. For those of you who didn't have to wait, thanks for hanging with me. <laughs> Let's get into the reading, Gemini. Once again, Gemini, this is your reading for October 1st through the, I would say 8th, 9th, 7th, 8th, 9th, in and around those times. I cut the deck. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. October. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. October 7th. October 1st through the 7th. You guys said rabbit, rabbit. We're just saying. Here we go. First card out is transformation. I'm gonna turn that upside down. I didn't realize the deck was. I didn't realize the deck was upside down. So this is transformation. This is development. This is going from one life life phase to another. For you guys, it could just be seeing things from a different perspective of your twin side. So one side could be dominant, and now the other side is dominating. So whatever happened to you recently, there was a need to transition yourself from seeing things in one way to seeing things in another way. Um, it's almost like the two different sides of you are built into you in order almost like that's your defense system not that you're defensive but that that is your way of making sure that you survive in the world is that you have those two different perspectives and two different characters that can apply themselves when needed and they always even if one is more dormant than the other they always have this way of just watching and taking in information and being able to discern very eloquently um, what situation needs that different perspective. So this is transforming. Something has going on in your life that is requiring you to behave and act in that, not, not, not like yourself, but in the way that, in the way that the, the dormant twin would act. It's almost like the dawning of the dormant twin. That's what I'll probably call this reading. The dawning of the dormant twin. This is one rising, not conquering the other, but because it's necessary and it's needed. There is a, a need this week, Gemini, for a change in perspective, a change in character, a change in behavior. That could be getting tougher, getting more aggressive, getting meaner. That could also be getting gentler, being calmer, um, um, being more rational, depending on your situation. But this does... This does call for a different approach to communications, especially this week. Mm, that's interesting. Call to a different approach in communications. Chameleon flew out, act as if. So essentially, mm, I definitely want to pull more cards. 
because it's not coming out little by little. It's, it's coming out, it needs a full story. Chameleon spirit is an energy, Gemini, where essentially you would almost fake it till you make it. Hiding yourself or trying to fit in. And essentially, I think that you're done with that crap. A chameleon is somebody who sort of dresses up for the occasion. So you're... This could be somebody in your life too, though. So I want to see if this is you or somebody in your life that's essentially been hiding. Been, uh, but the, the presence of a butterfly spirit suggests that it isn't somebody else. It's actually you. It's you coming out of a phase or a stage or a situation where you feel like you cannot be yourself. So that's what it was. There was you lying dormant, almost caterpillar mode. And yeah, you could get by that way. That's fine. But this is a way for, this is a time, a moment, like a dawning for you to not have to be what other people want you to be. This is almost like a liberation of sorts. So this week, what you're experiencing is either the you've made the decision or you're actually finding the leeway and the pathway to be yourself again, to not have to feel like you have to pretend to be something that you're not. This is a situation that for whatever reason kind of trapped you in your own, no, kind of trapped you, plain and simple, it trapped you. There was a pressure on you to be something that you weren't and now you're full on being yourself. Ooh, that's awesome. Liberation, liberation from playing too many games or being around somebody who manipulates and plays too many games. Somebody who pretended to be in love with you. Somebody who pretended to be interested in you. Somebody who pretended that everything was okay and it wasn't okay. Oh, I see. So this is being in the presence of a chameleon, of somebody who <clears throat> literally said, said all the right things, did all the right things said everything was okay, said that you were okay, said that they approved of you, said that they loved you, said that you were great. Like, in other words, a head nodder. Somebody who was always like, yeah, 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 no, that's awesome. That's so awesome. But it wasn't, they weren't like this. It's like they finally shed their skin. They've shed their skin. And in order, they've shed their skin. And in, because they've shed their skin and you've seen them for who they truly are, you're now able to liberate yourself and be everything that you need to be. This could be a good, I don't think that this is a good thing. It could be for some of you a very good thing because, well, it's a liberating thing. The liberation that you get when you finally see somebody's true colors and see somebody who they, for really, who they really are. This is, this is a person in your life or a time in your, okay. S scenario one, this is a person in your life who is definitely faking it who is definitely making pretend, really for their own protection. This person that ne wasn't necessarily mm, for their own protection because they lacked self-esteem for their own confidence. They were literally trying to say everything was going to be okay. If it isn't a person, it's a situation. Like, uh, God, I got this reading a few weeks back. It's almost like somebody like a job or an employer saying that everything was okay when it really wasn't. Like, oh yeah, the company's doing well, the company's doing well when it really wasn't. The company wasn't doing well. The company was suffering, they just didn't want, to, didn't want anybody to know. So this is the revelation, the revealing of somebody's true colors or a situation's true colors. Now this could also symbolize you not having to pretend anymore. And I feel like the two situations this week are, 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 are related. In other words, that the reality that has been exposed, the exposure of somebody else's true colors has enabled you to finally be set free and be everything that you really want to be. Your true full potential. I feel like what was keeping you stuck, if something was keeping you stuck, what was keeping you stuck, Gemini, was the fact that everybody kept this, what, this situation, this circumstance, this person kept pretending that everything was okay. They were a head nodder. If it was, if this is a person, it would be a head nodder. Yeah, I love it. Oh, everything's perfect. Oh, yeah, everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Well, clearly things weren't fine. Clearly things were completely unbalanced for them, and they're unbalanced. They're disbalanced. Their, you know, <clears throat> lack of sincerity has been exposed, and now 
it's almost like you can finally break free of them and you have broken free. And I feel like this is sort of like part and parcel to after you've broken free, this week is about you finally being able to spread your wings and fly and to be who you want to be. Because this is a circumstance where because you were sort of entrapped by fakeness, you also almost like were making decisions based on false assumptions, based on miscommunications. It's like you were making your decisions based on what somebody was telling you was okay, but those decisions aren't right now because, because the truth has been exposed and now you can finally be liberated. You can finally be like, well then I'm out. I'm not hanging around or sticking around when A, you don't even really like me or you don't really talk well about me or you're not happy the way that you said that you were happy. I'm not sticking around for that. I'm also not sticking around for this job or this circumstance or this situation that you said was stable, but it's not stable. you are basically been liberated by the truth by the revelation of a, of a truth that really impacts your life this week, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Coming back into your full self, into being able to just be who you are, you know, not, not having to dress up or glam yourself up to be, ex to be ha like right now, your happiness is based on freedom. I can tell you that right now. This week is all about liberation and transcending. Being able to transcend. All these cards are coming out backwards. Dragonfly. Truth transcends illusion. But it was reversed. These two other cards indicate that there is a revelation. That there is an exposure. But truth transcends illusion indicates that something is still hidden. Oh, the tangled web that you weave. This is a water sign. Gemini, this is a water sign that is, is very repressed. That is somebody who contains a lot of their emotions and doesn't let it be exposed. And it's almost like whatever's on the surface, it's like it's almost like it's a water sign that isn't well developed. It's a water sign that's actually sort of still immature in their larvae stage. So you could be dealing with an actual child or you could be dealing with somebody who acts very childish. But this right here is an actual person who, in other words, they're not able to really be themselves on the surface. There's something, it's almost like they're stuck and they're repressed and they're, and they're kind of like not able, it's not that they don't want to be their true selves, it's something about them is stunted, like they can't be them true, their true selves. That's really interesting. This could very well be part of you. Or if emotionally you feel like you still can't share something with somebody. Or that the person that you wanted to share these things with. Isn't ready to handle it. Like you can't handle the truth. They couldn't handle the truth. You're right. And they may never, never be able to. Lay a solid foundation. Ooh, this is a lot this week, Gemini. This is um, building. Somebody done doing building, building security, building um, the future, building. Yeah, I feel like this may be parenting. Gemini, if you're a parent, you could very well be dealing with a child that's having a hard time launching, uh, a child that's having a hard time taking off. You could be dealing with a project that is not taking off the ground, that is almost like failure to launch. That's what you're dealing with. And your role in this is to get them to bloom, to get them to succeed. But there's a lot of disappointment here in that they're not doing those things. They're not taking off. They're not taking off. They're, they're doing things backwards. They're, they're, oh, Gemini.
I don't feel like you've given up in this situation. That's what I hear. That's what I feel. Like, this circumstance, you're still working on it. You're still, it's, it's like you haven't left. You, this what it is. Okay, I'm going to, I want to show you the cards. Hold on. So in other words, Gemini, you have not given up on this situation. Now this could be a, a Virgo card, but I feel like this is you. Still working very hard to fix these things, to build. That there's somehow that you still feel confidence and that you see there's potential in this situation. And yes, you acknowledge that there's a stuck. It's almost like you've admitted the truth that there is a problem. There is an issue. This could be, this could be real issues like, like issues as, as, uh, like, you know, a, a, like, I don't want to say the stereotypical, but like drug and alcohol addiction or depression. This could be depression, right? N insecurity, not feeling like you're good enough, sort of not misapplying your skill set. Somebody who doesn't live up to their full potential, right? And you, have been have been trying to help that person through. This is you laying that solid foundation to try to work through this really particularly. I feel like other people would have given up hope by now. But somehow you still feel like there's potential. Potential for actual growth and development. It's like you see that there is a butterfly here. Even when somebody is stuck, like this is somebody who would be stuck as a larva and the larva form of a, a butterfly would be the caterpillar, right? This is somebody who's stuck as a caterpillar. But you're sticking around because you still have faith in this situation to become a butterfly. This is you, Gemini, sticking it out through thick and thin. Probably because you have... This is a revelation of a truth. This is like you, in other words, in other words, you see this situation for what it really is. Oh, there it is. You see this situation, Gemini, for what it really is. And that includes the potential that it holds. And you understand fully well. And it's, I feel like, I feel like the, fr I feel the frustration in you. I feel the upset. I feel the failure to launch. But you still believe that there's potential here. You've been working very, very hard on this. And you continue to work. It's almost like you think that all this needs is fine tweaking. Whatever it is you're thinking, you're thinking, you're, you're sticking with this. You're staying around. Because you see... That underneath, it's almost like you see potential where other people don't see potential, Gemini. Now, this is a general reading, so it could pertain to an opportunity, could pertain to a job, could pertain to work. But something that you put a lot of hard work and energy into, you see potential where other people don't. You see potential even where there's stagnation and lack of growth. You can see that, that you can see the butterfly in the caterpillar. And so this week is about you. Sticking it through. It's about tenacity for you. But I feel a sense of release and that's what I'm trying to understand. And where I believe the sense of release is you had felt trapped by your expectations of this person or this situation. You felt almost trapped by the lies that you believed. Now that you actually, it's like somebody finally had a conversation with you, finally came clean, and now you finally know which direction to go in. Now that you finally know the truth, you're not deciding to walk away and leave. You're deciding, now I can do something about this. Now I can actually make progress in this situation because I actually know what I have to make progress on. There was a lack of communication because of somebody's immaturity. And either way, it liberated you. 
It either liberated you to be able to walk away and leave and start building a foundation away from them. But I don't feel like, I feel like in most cases, Gemini, you are building a foundation with them because you're like, oh, now I know what the problem is. Why didn't you just say that to me? That's what you're, you're asking to them. Why didn't you just say that to me? Why didn't you just tell me that that was the problem? If this is work, why didn't you tell me the company was losing money? I have solutions for us to make other investments. I can fix this. It's like you're finally getting the truth about a situation that really stuck you, was frustrating you because of lies, because it was trying to be something it wasn't. And now that it's finally revealed, and now that it's the truth is finally revealed and you see the problem, you see the issue, you're like, I can fix that. Why didn't you just say that to me? It would have been so easy if you had just said that to me. And now it's Gemini. It's like, that's where the liberation is coming from. That's where you feel the liberation because you actually feel like now I know what to fucking do. Now I can actually do something. I'm going to go over to the other side, to Vimeo. We'll get a deeper read on tarot to really expand on all the nuances of what's going on. And I'll do the full romance read. Hope to see you over there.